Hello friends, welcome back. I'm here with uh, another topic, tenses of grammar, because uh, I want you people to know all the basics of grammar so that we will be able to conduct smooth uh, these sessions of uh, other grammar portion which is there prescribed in our syllabus. So I want you to know tenses because uh, they are very important uh, with the perspective or with the aspect of uh, narration or we can say voice. So we, I have, I'm here with broad categorization of all the 12 tenses and uh, what formation of sentences are there. So this video will be basically on the formation of sentences in these uh, all kind of uh, tenses. So you will be able to know about present, past and future and in present you will be able to know all four tenses in past and future as well. So we'll start with present simple. It's present tense and we have simple over here. The formation is subject plus verb, basic form of verb and object. I'll tell you one more thing. Then that whenever you have first person that means I or we, your second person you or third person third person plural they you will use basic form of verb verb is used over here but when you will have third person singular what you will use you will use s form of verb As form of verb, I'll give an example. I play, he play, sorry, I play, we play, you play, they play. But he plays. Play is never used with he. That means third person singular, he, she, it. He, she, it or name of anybody. Rohan plays. Or we can say it plays or she plays or he plays. So whenever there will be third person singular, uh, you will use as form of verb. Else, you will use with other subjects, you will use uh, basic form of verb only here in the present simple. When we will move to present continuous, you will see continuity of the work. You will hear with the help of helping verbs. Or we, I, I have already told you about auxiliaries. These are present form of auxiliaries are very important in uh, denoting the tense. And we have gerund form of verb over here. Gerund form of verb over here. Gerund means continuous form of verb. So with subject, here I is subject, is am are, you can use any of the helping verb as per the grammatical buildup or grammatical need. I am is always used with I. So uh, if it will it would have been we who are here, so it would, so it would have been are. If uh, it would have been he, then it, 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 it obviously it would have taken is. Over here is I, so I, it's taking am and playing a gerund form of verb, and this is object over here. So the formation is subject plus am plus gerund form of verb plus object. Okay, it's continuous. The work is going on. Now you have perfect. In perfect, it's at only present form of verb where you will see that past form of uh, present form of this uh, tense where you will use that. Past form of verb is used. So present perfect means a work which has recently ended. That means it's recent past. So you will see subject plus has have. Again, I have told you those auxiliary has or have. Again, I'll tell you what how to use have, how to use has. Have is used with again I, we, you, or they. That means first person singular plural, second person singular plural, and third person plural. We will use how. I have, we have, you have, they have. But with the uh, third person singular, she, he, or it, or any name, you will use has. It will be has. Has will be used with that. So she has, he has, it has, or any name. Rahan has. So you will use has in perfect. So again, you will see subject plus has or have plus uh, V3, third form of verb plus object. So you should know all the forms of verb first. Uh, forms of verb as I have not touched in uh, these uh, parts of speech. You should know forms of verb and degrees of adjective as well. 
so then you have perfect continuous the work which has recently ended but it was continuous for a certain period of time you will see subject plus have again it will be same have or has have with uh, has will be used with he she it or name rest will be used have plus been plus ing form that means gerund form of verb plus object so the formation will be accordingly now coming to the past you will see that here we have used second form of verb here we used to uh, first form of verb but here second form of verb has denoted it as past so subject plus second form of verb plus object we have used and second uh, past continuous you will see that subject plus was oblique verb was is singular and were is plural if you we would have been here we were they were you were so she he she it we will use same as was he was she was or it was or name of any body so with singulars we will use was with plurals we will use were and it's v i n g form of uh, ing form again i am telling you gerund form of verb continuous form of verb and object the formation is again that that means the work has started in past continued in past and ended up in past so then subject this uh, present uh, past perfect so you will have subject plus had has or have is changed to had you will see only had over here there is no other option had will be used and v3 form of verb and object only has or have is changed to had in past so the subject this is distant past the work has been done very earlier so it is distant past over here you will see subject plus had again have or has has changed to had been is there uh, ing form of verb that means continuous or gerund form of verb and object the work has uh, started in past and worked in past and distant past and ended up in distant past so there is a little difference between these two are these two you will see the, here the work has started and uh it is going on here the work has started but it was going on when that thing anything happened you will see that there is sin, need of sense or for sometimes over these in these uh, continuous uh, perfect continuous forms sense is used for point of time and for is used for period of time likewise if i tell you i am teaching since 2013 2013 is a point of time i am teaching for 7 years or 8 years that is period of time okay so now we will come to future and uh, in future simple you will see that i will play cricket it will show capability and will is used as it's it's model over here so we will use this form of verb to present tenses as you will be knowing that it is mostly the helping of auxiliary verbs or modal verbs which denote tense so you will see subject plus will or uh, first form of verb and object over here then you will be seeing uh, this uh, future continuous in which subject this uh, work will start in future and will continue in future i'll be playing cricket that means the the person is asked for something he and the answer of, of another speaker is that i'll be playing cricket at that very time so maybe he will not be able to do that work so subject plus will plus b b is form of is or am uh, plus ing form that means gerund form of verb plus object then we have perfect uh, past uh, sorry future perfect you will see subject plus will will plus have you will not use has over here whether it is he she it or anything has will not be used you will use have only and v3 uh, form of verb and object so have will be only used over here will have again over here subject plus will have will be used there will be no has or have plus been plus ing form of verb that means gerund form of verb plus object so this work will uh, i'll have been working i'll have been uh, playing cricket that means when something would have have would happen then it would uh, the, the 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 this work distance would have continued at that very time and it would have prolonged for a little bit so that was all in this very video uh, hope you you came uh, come across your uh, um, just overcome your problems then if you have any kind of query just ask me 
and you can ask in your comments and uh, I will try to just solve those problems. That was all in this video. Thank you very much.